Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be covering a huge fall H&M haul. This is my second one this season, so don't miss the first one that I did. But this time for this haul, now that I've lived in fall for a couple weeks now, I've really experienced it. I just was able to make better choices and kind of also pick out some new stuff. The day that I got to the store, the sales lady said that this was like a brand new batch. So I'm excited to show it to you. I also wanted to announce the winner of the boot giveaway. I am wearing them right now, not the ones that I'm giving away, but I'm giving away boots like these from Franco Sardo. They're the Julie boot. And I love them because they're elegant and also super functional. They have a weather resistant sole. So Ashley Kennedy, congratulations. You won the giveaway and make sure to DM me on Instagram to claim your prize. Let me know below if I should do more giveaways. I always have brands wanting to do giveaways and I usually stay away from them because they seem a little salesy, but I think if we just keep it to the channel and just as a way to treat you, I would love to keep doing them if it's something you're interested in. For context, so you can get an idea of what sizing might work for you. I'm 5'5 five five and I usually wear an extra small or a small in a zero or a two. The first thing I'll show you is my shirt dress, which I have worn so many different ways. I think this is a very versatile piece for fall. You can wear it open with jeans or leggings underneath, or you can belt it or unbelt it. It just can go so many different ways. You can wear high heel, high knee boots, these kind of more Chelsea type boots, and it's only $19.99. Next up, I have three pairs of jeans to show you. They're all very different and very versatile as well. I'd love to hear which one is your favorite. These are the straight leg high waist jeans. These have a slit, they're $39.99. This has been really trendy for fall 2021 is to have this slit here. I think it's just a really great way to show off your booties or your heels and just kind of have a little bit of an accent. And these are very flattering. I've seen so many other brands at like five times the price. So these totally get the job done. Next up are $29.99 baggy jeans high-waisted and I didn't know how I was going to feel about these but I've been looking for a super baggy jean that's not like $300 and that doesn't have a wide leg because I already have those types of jeans and so these definitely fit the bill they were so cool so flattering so comfortable and also trending so I think with these you definitely want to stay true to size because they are so big. So you don't want to size up whatsoever. The wash is also really beautiful. It's like a nice deep rich blue color, which I really love in them. Next up is the mom jeans. These are so flattering. Your butt looks good. They're high waisted. It makes you have like, makes you look like you have a very little waist. They are also really nice and tapered. So they have a little bit of relaxation throughout the legs, but then they kind of like come in at the bottom. This is just a great pair of jeans if you want to really like highlight your shoes and not have your pants kind of drag on the floor. Sometimes I have a little bit of that going on, but these are really, really flattering and they are $29.99. I wouldn't wear them with um, like high knee boots. Like for example, boots like these, I wouldn't stuff them in there because they'll be really baggy around the knees. And a quick thing to note is that they are button fly as well. So let me know which, which pair you like the best. Moving on, we have this beautiful camel coat that is belted and this one is $59.99. I got a small, so I, I just prefer my coats. I generally tend to size up in coats because I like to wear so much stuff underneath them. I live in upstate New York, so I get colder. If I lived in Texas, where I'm from, then I would probably just do a small one because I'm never gonna need something underneath. But if you live up north, I would definitely size up so you can fit in those bulky sweaters and scarves and vests underneath as well. I think it's so elegant. I think you can wear it beautifully with a pair of jeans or trousers and have it be very casual. And likewise, you can wear a pencil skirt or an LBD or a pleated skirt and have it look very elegant and posh and pulled together. So I think it's one of those jackets that can be an awesome fall staple for your wardrobe. I also wanted to show you three different ways to tie this so that it's not just like a basic tie. And I'm showing it to you here on the side. So that way you can kind of have fun with how to tie it. Not only this coat, but coats like these that have like, like a trench coat, anything that has these straps you can level up your, your tie game. So putting it right here so you can watch it. 
These are probably my two favorite pieces from the whole haul. These are some gorgeous herringbone trousers. I think they look so smart. They're so flattering. They're really great around the bum. They are a little bit tight fur, so I would definitely size up a size because they're a little bit snug. Wearing them here with Chelsea boots. This top is one that's very similar to the one that I did in the last haul. However, this time around, I was able to find my size. It is probably my favorite shirt. It's so beautiful. It's very like Tom Ford, 1990s. It's so flattering and pretty. Looks really expensive. It's nice and silky, super versatile. And I love how they look together. I think it's so appropriate for so many occasions. Feels like a very luxy outfit and this shirt is super buttery. By the way, I usually film this way because it has like nice light and I get to display my little Oliver Gal chandelier, which I love chandeliers. This is not fine art. It's very like kitschy, kind of like studio art. And I just put them usually in the bathroom or little nooks and crannies where nobody's really gonna see them. I'm thinking about putting Oliver Gal art in like my big foyer, foyer. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I've been thinking about what to do with this room. It's my foyer and I really love the painting here on the right hand side. It's an original and it's by a local Chicago artist and she stopped painting in that style. Now she uses a lot of reds and landscapes instead of buildings and muted colors. So I got this one to tide me over just cause I liked how pretty and like neutral it was, but it totally doesn't go. And as you can tell, I'll show you it from the, over here. Like that room still doesn't have any furniture at all. It's my great room. For now, I just got an email from Oliver Gal Art, who I have a lot of work from. Actually, were offering me to have these two paintings that might go really well there. I usually, I usually use Oliver Gal Art like in bathrooms or in hallways, definitely not like as a big artistic display, but I think they might look really cute here, even though they're not fine art. Let me know what you think. This chandelier is my what I call my chandelier moment and I absolutely fell in love with it when I walked in. It's probably the reason that I live here because I really loved it from the very first moment that I saw it. I just feel like I needed a chandelier moment. I saw this, it was hanging on the wall like this and I'm like, gosh, does this look too young? You can make it grown up by the way that you style it, right? So I think that it's really sexy and form fitting, but adding a t-shirt underneath or even a long sleeve tee with tights and high knee boots it can just make it a little bit more grown up. You can also add a blazer and make it more chic and have it be more of a street style look. It's $24.99. This size up in this because I didn't want it to be super, super tight. Next up we have this puffer. I've been for a good puffer now for a while. This is beautiful. It's this gorgeous green, kind of like a moss green. And it is $49.99. It is an extra small. Don't size up in this, this thing is huge. Also, again, if you live in the South, this is a perfect, like, or LA, like this is a perfect puffer for you because it's not like a North Face puffer that's like means business, like it's gonna keep you really, really warm. This is definitely more of like a fashion puffer, if you know what I mean. It's definitely cozy and warm, but it's not made for materials that are gonna make you swelter. If you're gonna depend on this to be your jacket, um, it's not gonna work. It's definitely more of like a look. And it's just so easy. Like you can just, I can just picture myself wearing it with like a black turtleneck, leggings, and my Chelsea boots and calling it a day. Okay, let me show you these other ones. These are $34.99, so they're a little bit pricey. And these are pleated. They have a lot of volume. They are pretty thin. These are just really comfortable. It's like you could be wearing sweatpants. And then this top I just got because I really love like a monochrome look. That's a big trend for fall 2021. Just have it be like one of the, you know, when you don't know what to wear and you're just like, okay, just wear the same color and then I'm done. I did want to show you this because I absolutely love it. I've worn it so much. And although I cannot find it online, I really cannot. I will look again before I post this video, but and if it's linked online, I will put it below, but they are at the store. I swear they're at the store. And they're available in a couple of colors, like the lighter camel, this, a darker chocolatey brown. So I don't know why they're not putting them online, but if you see it at the store, grab it. It is so beautiful. I think it was like $50 and I've worn it nonstop. The very big collar. And sometimes they can look a little bit childish. If you don't style it properly, you have to really kind of edge it up a little bit. 
This is a great way to give a nod to the trend, but also to kind of tame it a little bit so that when maybe the big colors aren't so popular next season, that you still have a top you can wear and isn't like screaming, I was bought in fall 2021. I love the material of this. It's extremely silky and buttery. And this is $24.99, it's an extra small. And it tends to run a little bit big. This might even be a really great maternity top. Like if you're hiding a belly before it's time to announce to everybody. I have this beautiful fall dress, which can easily be transformed with a belt. And it's just so light and pretty and airy, $39.99. Made with 100% recycled polyester. So love that it's more sustainable and that H&M and brands like H&M, like Mango as well, is starting to think about how to recycle stuff because we're all wearing so many different things all the time. What I wanted to show you is this beautiful little cardigan that looks really elegant thanks to the glam little sparkle buttons that it has here. And I can see this wearing this just on its own, just with jeans and just having it look very simple and classic or even as a layer. Like for example, if I can put this on and belt it just to have a nice little layered fall look as well. This is $19.99, so an amazing piece. And I'm really impressed with the knits this time around for H&M. I have gotten a couple of sweaters from them this fall season and they're just so comfy and inviting and just fall perfect. If you're in the mood for experimenting a little bit more, check out my Rent the Runway review video that I did a little bit ago with an awesome 40% discount so that you can get the eight piece a month plan for $85 for the first two months. It's a really great way to play around with your style and just gain more confidence as you kind of like try on different things as well as make fashion a little bit more sustainable. And also check out my H&M haul that I did a couple weeks ago for a lot more goodies. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.